as a whole, I think these shoes are ugly. Like, I love them, but they're ugly. Hello! It's time for another doll hunt. So it's been a minute since I've gone doll hunting, uh, just because I got a whole bunch of stuff during December, just, you know, when they had a lot of sales and everything. And, you know, I've just been doing the reviews and unboxing that stuff for the most part, with like a couple exceptions. Um, but I haven't actually been out shopping at the stores for dolls recently and um it, it's been a minute so i want to go look and see what they have <laughs> now i'm not just out like generally doll hunting i do have a mission i am trying to find some of the shadow high series 2 which i have seen in store so like i, I pretty much know that they're here <laughs> but i am specifically looking for zoe because she is definitely my favorite of this wave two series two whatever for shadow high she's just she's my favorite and um i really want to get her so that is my goal for today so i'm probably not going to be going around to a bunch of different locations unless for some reason they don't have her here otherwise i'm just going to pick her up here and then um if they do have her i'm going to head home and then we're going to unbox her and review her in this video anyway let's head in and see if we can find zoe You know, it's so funny because I was already planning on making this video. And earlier this morning, one of the other YouTubers that I watch, Lao Sky Painter, I think I've mentioned her before on this channel, but she posted just this morning a video looking for the exact same doll. <laughs> so she was looking for Zoe and for Monique. But what the heck? Wait. <laughs> this shelf is kind of empty and I'm not seeing any Zoe's. Wait, what? <laughs> Like, I was here, like, not too long ago, and they had, like, a ton of Zoe. Maybe Zoe is just really popular? I don't know. I don't think that OMG has recovered from Christmas yet. <laughs> okay, sometimes they have them on the end caps, but I'm not really seeing them. I mean, they have Monique, and I, or the couple Monique, and this is the other doll that I plan on getting from Shadow High Series 2, but <laughs> I'm not seeing Zoe. Oh my gosh. And it's so funny because, like, I was convinced in my mind that I was going to just walk in and see Zoe on the shelf. <laughs> but they only have these three. So they have Rex, Monique, and Carla, which Carla's actually kind of pretty, too. I really like her outfit. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting Monique eventually, but the first one I want to get is Zoe, and she's not here. This is the first Dana that I've seen in stores. I had to order mine online because I couldn't find her in store anywhere. And of course, after I get her, she finally shows up. Well, dang. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go to another location and see if I can find Zoe somewhere. Well, that was a bummer. <laughs> I mean, not that big of a deal, but I genuinely thought I was just going to be able to walk in and, you know, find a doll and leave. <laughs> but I guess that's not the plan. Zoe's like, no, I'm not having it. You're going to do an actual legitimate doll hunt. So I'm now on the hunt to find Zoe. <laughs> and it's so funny. I mentioned earlier that um, there's another YouTuber that I follow. The channel name is Lao Sky Painter. And I, I've mentioned her on my channel before. Uh, she does a lot of vintage toy reviews and um, like flea market shopping and, you know, stuff like that, doll hunting. So if you're interested in any kind of like vintage toys, you know, collections from the 90s and the 80s and like especially My Little Pony or like Vintage Barbie, definitely go check out her channel. <laughs> but I have been planning to do this video a few days ago and this morning she posted a video showing that she was doll hunting for the exact same doll that I'm looking for. Well, she was getting two of them. Uh, she ended up looking for both Zoe and for Monique. And I do eventually plan on getting Monique as well. That'll be the next one from series two that I plan to buy. But right now, I really just want to focus on Zoe because that's my main, like I want to start with my favorite and then work my way down. But yeah, Lau ended up getting both of the dolls. And if you want to see her video, if I remember, I'll put a link to that down below. So if you want to go uh, check out her channel, go 
Watch that video and leave a comment on her video letting her know that you came from this channel. <laughs> anyway, that was the main Target that I normally go to. Right now I'm gonna head to another Target that I sometimes have pretty good luck at. <laughs> I don't want to say I always have good luck at this other one because I'm gonna say that and then nothing's gonna happen You know what actually I should probably pull up the app and look and see if they have Zoe before I drive all the way over there Okay, so I pulled over and I checked the app and yes the target that I'm going to shows that they have a few of them in stock So hopefully I should be able to find Zoe really I should have done this from the get-go because I would have seen that this store back here was uh, actually sold out but that's okay. The app says that they have Zoe at this store. So fingers crossed, we're gonna find Zoe in just a few minutes. <laughs> All right, here we are, target number two. I always like to stop by the Disney section just to see what's going on. And they have a very prominent Illy display. I love it. They Oh, they have some of the fashion packs that I'm missing. I'm glad that they're finally like starting to get them in. <laughs> Okay, correction, they only have one that I don't have that I want to get. Um, I'm not going to pick that up right now because that's not why I'm here. Just as an update, it looks like all of the Disney Princess dolls that they have are all Mattel. It looks like they replaced them all. I don't see any of the Hasbro ones anymore. Oh yeah, even the multi-pack down here is the Mattel version. So all the Hasbro ones are gone. So after reviewing this doll, I actually really want to get this one. <laughs> Just because I like her and I like that she has purple in her hair and I want to test out the little color change feature. And I've also been getting a lot of requests to review this doll because I reviewed the Hasbro hair play Rapunzel doll a while ago. So eventually I will be getting this and I'll do a versus where I compare the this Mattel one to the Hasbro one I repair, repair <laughs> that I reviewed a while ago. Oh, this is interesting. They have a bunch of the My First Barbie dolls over here but it's not on the barbie aisle it's over by the peppa pig and other stuff oh they have fashion packs oh that's cute i do plan on getting one of these eventually and reviewing one i think i'm gonna go with her because i like the brunette dolls and i think she's really pretty oh <laughs> that's unfortunate <laughs> okay so here's the mga aisle and of course they have dana everywhere <laughs> <laughs> now that, oh, it's not just these two, but still, like I said, I was searching and searching for her in stores, and now she's just showing up everywhere. But luckily, they do have Miss Zoe. And this one actually looks pretty good. Actually, she looks very good for the most part. I mean, I still want to see if they have another one, because I always like to compare just in case, which I'm not seeing. They do have some of the Rainbow High series. What is it, five? <laughs> what series is this now? I don't know, it doesn't say what series number it is on the box anymore, but that's okay. <laughs> I've got my Zoe, I'm gonna head on home, let's get her unboxed so we can do the review. Okay, I am back home. Um, it is the next day, obviously. Uh, I, after I did that shopping that you saw in the last clip, um, I ended up meeting up with one of my friends and we like went and had dinner and like hung out and stuff like that. So I didn't get to film last night, but I'm gonna film this morning, which actually works out better anyway, just because of the lighting situation. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, I was able to get Miss Zoe and because of the spelling of her name, I wasn't sure if it's Zoe or Zooey because it's like Z-O-O-E-Y, but um, I think Zoe Deschanel uh, spells her name this way too. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm just gonna say Zoe because it sounds better. Um, I really like this new packaging. Like, let's look at this packaging for a second. These dolls don't come with a... Uh, second outfit anymore so it's you know they they also changed up the way that the packaging is but you know what i'm actually okay with that here's the back of the box on the back of the box they have um only two characters now instead of like the whole season or series or whatever um so you get the a picture of the character that's in the box and one other character this is the one that's like inspired by rihanna there's also like a little blurb here and i think they changed it up because this is a little different than what i remember for shadow high um it's not too much different it just says fashion doesn't have to follow the rules and neither does shadow high watch out rainbow high we're coming for the runway <laughs> So, and uh, Zoe's focus is fashion design. So Zoe is a fashion designer, which is really cool. Um, and Zoe's whole thing, she's like inspired by, I guess, like aliens, outer space, stuff like that. And what I love about this is that um, MGA 
did some nods to like previous doll lines, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Now, before I get her out of the box, I just really want to appreciate the way that this box is designed. I really like the way that this looks. I love the um, little like monogrammed like image there. And then on the back of the inside of the box, you have the picture as well. Let me see if I can zoom in on this here. You can kind of see it's like printed on the back of the box, but also here. So it kind of gives this like trippy effect, which is kind of cool. It kind of gives a 3D effect. So this doll ended up being $24.99. So the newer dolls that don't come with a second outfit are only $25. And I kind of like that because like, I like when the dolls come with a second outfit because I love choices, especially there's so many dolls that I bought that I prefer to display them in their second outfit. Uh, Natasha is one of them and I can't really think of <laughs> others off the top of my head, but I like having more outfit pieces to mix and match with my other dolls and stuff like that. So I do like that aspect of it. However, Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls have been getting expensive. Like I just, I guess the cost of production and other stuff like that the cost has been going up um so for them to like you know start it at like 26 99 back I think it was what they started off when Rainbow High first came out um, so from $27 raising it up to $30 and then $35 and then they started coming out with all these like whatever I almost said Rainbow Rocks that's my little pony no the, the Rainbow Divas and like the uh, or whatever you know all the bands that they had and stuff like that each being like $50 each even though they're mass produced and they're not I mean I, whatever that's a whole topic for another video Rainbow High has been getting expensive so with them kind of limiting it down down to only one outfit, I'm okay with that because the price went back down to only $25, $24.99. That's a comfortable price point for me for a doll that I like. And I'm not a completionist when it comes to Rainbow High or Shadow High. So if I don't care for the doll the way that she is with her hair and her outfit and stuff like that, I don't buy her. But if I do like her, then I buy her and then I can just display her the way that she is. Now with Zoe specifically, I am going to change up her look a little bit. I'll talk about that a little later in the video. So if you want to see like how I change her look, keep watching. But um, for now, let me go ahead and get her out of the box. So that way we can like look at all of her accessories and stuff and see what she does come with for $24.99. I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got her out of the box. I'm in love with this doll. I have to say that she was very securely put in that box. Like, it was not as hard to get her out of the box as like the fail fix dolls were. Like, that was a nightmare. Um, and like, the original Barbie extra packaging was kind of annoying to open and stuff like that. It wasn't too bad because it, you know, it's very much like normal Rainbow High and Shadow High packaging where you open up the side and slide the whole like inner tray out and then you just snip away stuff. So like she was able, you know, I was able to get her out of the box pretty easily, but all of her accessories were like in a thing, like a, it, its own little blister pack inside of the packaging. And there was a lot of extra little plastic straps. Like they really didn't want her to go anywhere. <laughs> So really quick, let me just show you the accessories she comes with. So she comes with a stand in a really beautiful like turquoise color that matches her skin. Kind of. Ah, this is a little bit more blue maybe, but it's full of glitter. And then um, a comb that says SH for shadow high. There, oh, you can kind of see in the in the sunlight there. There, you can kind of see the monogrammed SH there. But um, anyway, yeah, so a matching comb that matches the stand. She also came with hangers, which I think is interesting because she doesn't come with a second outfit anymore. So I don't know why the hangers are necessary at this point. I have heard from other uh, doll YouTubers that are much more established than I am that uh, the reason for some of the changes is because retailers want dolls with a lot more accessories in them because that apparently is what is selling to kids like you know a doll with a bunch of stuff so um, maybe they're just like well we're already making the hangers so why don't we just throw them in as part of the accessories so we can say we have two more accessories I don't know I mean I think it's cute um, I could have done without these because I, I have no use for them with since she doesn't come with the second outfit. But if it's like uh, somebody who has a collection of these and has a lot of extra Rainbow High and Shadow High clothes, like, you know, obviously extra hangers are not never a bad thing. Also, I do know some people that collect these specifically. So like, I'm not going to complain about them. I'm just pointing out the fact that it's like weird that these are still included. She comes with a little thermos, you know, to, to have her coffee or hot cocoa in. And 
and it says shadow and it says sassy. <laughs> I love that. So it says shadow for like shadow high. And then here where it's like, it would say like NASA instead of NASA, it says sassy. I love that. <laughs> now MGA has been killing it with the tiny accessories being functional. Let me see, can you take the lid off of this? Okay, I don't know if the lid comes off of this, but I don't wanna break this or break a nail trying, so <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it on. If, if it's supposed to come off, it is really stuck on there and I'm not able to get it off. So I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is. So we got a cute little thermos. She comes with a really cute little doll laptop. I love little doll laptops. I think they're so adorable. This one's actually really well done. Like the stickers on the back, what does it say? Commander, and it's got like a moon and stars. And I love the color. It's kind of in that same turquoise color to match the theme. And then she has a Novi Stars wallpaper. And it looks like she has like Photoshop or something open and she's working on some artwork. So maybe she's doing some graphic design as well. She comes with a little phone, which to me looks like an iPhone because it's got the four things back there, even though there's not really, yeah, usually when they do an iPhone lookalike, they, they put some kind of symbol here instead of an Apple, but there's no symbol. It's just the, the phone with the four things. But, um, you know, and then you could see her wallpaper there and the phone comes separately with a case which i love this and it it has little monograms of like sh for shadow high and little crescent moons all over it i love that but i just i love the fact that there's a phone with a separate phone case oh and it fits in there really good i don't think that that's gonna fall out and like i don't you know if you're gonna lose this you're gonna lose the whole thing it's not gonna be one or the other <laughs> but no that that's pretty secure in there which is nice i love that these are those kind of miniature functional accessories that I don't personally need because I don't do anything with them, but I'm highly amused by, so I love it when they do this. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the doll. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you for the doll is her earrings because they keep falling out extremely easy. Like even for rainbow high slash shadow high, I'm having trouble with these earrings. So I'm gonna take them out because I don't wanna lose them, but I do not know what these are supposed to be. If there's something like some kind of electrical instrument thing, you know, like some something you'd find on a space station, uh, or if they're literally just pieces of metal, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but they say shadow high on them uh, in really tiny, tiny uh, font. I don't know if you could see that. It says shadow high. They're, they're cute, but these are the kind of earrings that I really don't like because they hang down and they get in the way and the hair gets caught on them. And literally the slightest touch, these things are falling out and I've already almost lost them twice. So I'm just gonna take her earrings off and set them aside because I don't want to like lose them while I'm reviewing her. Anyway, let's look at her face. Look at this gorgeous beauty. Now, I got her out of the box and I did notice like two very small defects, which don't really bug me too much, but it is what it is. So right here, there's a little dot um, that's like a darker color in her eyeshadow. I might be able to fix that with like scratching it. I can't use acetone because it'll get rid of her eyeshadow. So if I can't just like scratch it off gently, then she's just gonna have to live with it. The other thing that actually kind of bugs me, <laughs> her eyelashes are not symmetrical. So like on this side, her eyelashes go straight up. So you can, when she's looking straight at you, you can see her eyelashes here. But on this side, her eyelashes go out so like when she's looking straight at you, they blend in with her eyeliner. So it looks like she has lashes on this side, but no lashes on this side, unless if she's turned. And that actually kind of bugs me. Um, and I don't know how to fix that. If you know how to fix the weird wonky eyelash situation, please leave a comment because like, let me know. Cause I have no idea. Like maybe if I boil wash it or something like, boil wash I don't know if I just pour some boiling water over her eye I maybe that'll soften the eyelashes and they'll go I don't know I don't I don't know I think I would rather try and um get these eyelashes to go up more so they match this side rather than the other way around because I do like the way she looks with more lashes plus that side her eye looks more open I don't know it's not the worst thing I've seen some people who have gotten rainbow high and shadow high dolls in the past that have had way worse issues than this so I'm not going to complain so 
Zoe has probably my favorite face mold. Um, this is a very similar face mold. Um, I think this is the same one that Margot has from Pacific Coast. Uh, I think it might be the same one that Lily Chang has. The only difference is this one is the version that has the little molded on baby hairs around the hairline. And I love this. I think she's the first doll that I personally have from Rainbow High or Shadow High that has these little baby hairs like this. And I think it's so pretty. I really like that, especially with this hairstyle. Speaking of which, I really like her hair. So she's got these three space buns. It makes me think of Scary Spice from back in the 90s. Um, but I love this. I think that this is so cute. She has a really nice nylon hair, just like all Rainbow High dolls have. She does have tinsel, but it doesn't bug me. I know a lot of people see a new doll and they're like, oh my god, there's tinsel! And like, I get it because tinsel can be tough to style or to deal with or mess with. But I've I've just kind of gotten over it. Like, I don't really care anymore when there's tinsel. I think maybe there's a difference between metallic tinsel and iridescent tinsel. Metallic tinsel, I tend to have more issues with. Those are the ones where if you brush the hair, if you boil wash the hair, you sneeze in the direction of the hair, something is gonna happen to that tinsel and it's gonna get messed up and you'll never get it to look nice again. This stuff is not the metallic one. This is the iridescent tinsel. I don't know what the difference is because I don't work for MGA. I'm not a doll hair expert or anything, but I've noticed that this is like the iridescent stuff here. Let me move her in the sun. See how it's like kind of like got this pastel rainbow effect to the to the way it's like reflecting the light. Like it doesn't look like silver or gold or anything. It looks more iridescent, which tells me it's more plastic and less metallic. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but uh, yeah, anyway, long story short, I don't mind this tinsel, and I think for her overall look, I kind of like it because it adds a little bit of sparkle, and it looks really cute. Um, if you don't like it and you wanted to remove the tinsel, I completely get it and understand and like why you would want to do that. Obviously, like, it's your doll, do what you want to do. And it looks like the tinsel is only in the hairline. So it'll probably be easy to remove because it's not all throughout the hair. It's literally just around the hairline and, and through the part lines. So um, you could just go through it. It'd probably be easy to, to do that. For, I remember when Rainbow High first came out, the doll's hair was incredibly gelled. Like it was crunchy, it was stiff, it was ridiculous, it was hilarious. Uh, and then I remember everybody complaining about it. And then like, I think it was maybe like series two or something like that where they had no gel in the hair. And um, like MGA was like, we're gonna listen to you and we're not gonna put gel in the hair anymore. And that was nice. Um, well, they're back at it again. <laughs> there is a lot of product in her hair. Um, it's crunchy. It's, it's only on the parts that you would see in the box. The back of the hair is nice and soft, but like anywhere that like you would have seen from the outside of the box, that is gelled in place. I'm wondering if the hair gel makes it easier to package these dolls. So the hair isn't going everywhere in the box. Like, I'm wondering why they do that. Like, that, that's an extra step, an extra product that you're using on the doll that you could otherwise not do and save a little bit of money and just put the doll in the box. So I'm, I'm wondering if there's a reason why they do it. Um, I know part of it is to like hold the style, but when the hair in the box is so strapped down, it's not going anywhere anyway. So I don't know. I think it makes more sense for the dolls that have curls in their hair um, because for those they want to keep the style and make it look nice in the box for displays but for dolls like this where it's straight hair and they literally had like little plastic straps down the hair it's just holding it in place so I don't know why it was necessary but whatever I'm gonna be washing it out and um I saw somebody restyle Zoe on uh, Instagram a certain way, and I think I'm gonna do that, where they, they took down the outer space buns and left the top knot, um, and I, I think I might do that. I don't know, I haven't fully decided just yet. So of course, Zoe has this beautiful turquoise, mint green, whatever you wanna call it, skin tone and matching hair, which is the number one reason why I'm so obsessed with this doll, because this doll is my favorite color. <laughs> 
But along with that, since she has like this mint green skin, she's kind of got this alien vibe to her. So she's got like part of her makeup. Oh my God, the sun is going to be, <laughs> the sun's coming in. <laughs> anyway, let me zoom in a little. So you can kind of see she has like these white dots or can you see? I don't know. There we go. So you can kind of see she has these white dots painted on her forehead and stuff like that. Um, it kind of like adds in like with the spacey makeup and everything. I think it looks really cool. Okay, now I'm not gonna be displaying her in this jacket, but I do love it. I, I love the design of it because first of all, puffy jacket on a doll scale, it is thoroughly lined and actually puffy. So cool. Now, look at all of the details. So there's a real zipper, like this is a metal zipper, which I love on both sides. Um, I don't see, oh, there is a zipper pull right right there there's a little zipper pull right there it's not a functional zipper but it is real metal and it has a little zipper pull added there um she has all these like pockets and stuff and like these patches they say stuff like shadow and um eclipse and stuff like that and there's another sassy sticker which i'm in love with and what is what is over here number 22 i don't i don't know what 22 stands for but there's the commander one and there's that one but what i love about this doll and I love that MGA did this. MGA did a callback to one of their older doll lines that has been discontinued. And I never was into Novi Stars, but I love the fact that they made Zoe a Novi Stars fan. So she's got Novi Stars on her t-shirt here, which I love, but also they've got, wait, where is it? They've also got a patch on her left arm over here that says Novi Stars. Even the picture on her laptop that it looks like she's like working on is, uh, in Photoshop is of Novi Stars. In fact, that's actually the same picture on her shirt as it is on the laptop. I love that. Like, like I said, I never got into Novi Stars because they were out before I was really seriously into doll collecting. Also, they came out as a competition for Monster High. And um, from what I remember, Novi Stars weren't really articulated and Monster High was heavily articulated. So, and like, I think the only thing that really drove me to Monster High in the first place was how fully articulated they are. I am a sucker for posability. Like, I love the fact that, you know, when dolls are fully articulated and have you know bendable wrists and elbows and knees and everything like that's one of my favorite things one of the first things i look for in a doll like what's the articulation like and like i said from what i remember most of the novi stars are more like a static pose or they had like the basic five points of articulation so i don't think i would have ever really gotten into them but I can appreciate them for what they were. Like they looked really cool and I like their designs and stuff like that. And I know there there are people, there are collectors out there that Novi Stars is like one of their favorite doll lines. So I love the fact that MGA decided to bring Novi Stars back in a way. I was talking to one of my friends about this and I think I, I was saying it'd be kind of cool if they brought Novi Stars back, but reincarnated in Rainbow High or something like that. Like if this was one of the Novi Stars characters or something, or even if they just did like when they did the Rainbow Vision, like one of the bands, like they could do the Novi Stars and it's literally like three, the three members are three characters from Novi Stars. They're just kind of like redone in the shape of a Rainbow High doll, but like have the same color scheme, the same aesthetic, but like reincarnated as a Shadow High or Rainbow High character. That I think would be really cool. MGA, are you listening? You can have that idea for free. <laughs> Anyway, um, I completely got off track with that. I would talk about Novi Stars, but this jacket's really cool and it has like all the patches and all the cool stuff and everything that I already showed you. But one of the, th oh, there's also a patch on the back. Look at this. <laughs> I missed that. There's one on the very back here. Um, but one of the coolest things about this jacket is there's these little poles here, these little elastic poles that are functional. I mean, I'm not gonna pull them because the elastic's really, really tiny. Um, but there's, there's literally these little things here, little toggles or whatever they're called and you can actually pull this and it's actually like cinched through here through the um, bottom of the jacket around the whole thing and there's one on this side as well those are those tiny details that I'm obsessed with and I love that I'm gonna take her jacket off because like I said I'm not gonna actually display her in this jacket here you can see her outfit without the jacket you know I need to close the window okay so it's a little bit darker now but at least she's out of the sunlight um, but anyway so here's her outfit without the jacket um, the top is literally just a little t-shirt and I love this I love the little rainbow high t-shirts they're just 
super basic t-shirts and I think that this is super cute. I love this skirt. Like I, I think, oh okay, yeah, no, it, it, this is very spacey. This gives me very much like the Jetsons or like something that was like, retro futuristic if that makes sense <laughs> like the way that um people from like decades ago thought that people would be dressing in the 2000s you know <laughs> um it kind of gives me very much that and i i like that because it's like this kind of like faux leather kind of patent material there is a very s okay i don't know if i'm going to be able to show you this or if you could see it but there's a very slight holographic reflection to this skirt. I love that. I don't, I don't, I, I doubt it's coming up on camera. I can't tell from this little viewfinder if it's coming up on camera, but in person, let me see if it, there you go. You can kind of see it. See, I, I told you there's like a little, little holographic rainbow reflection on her skirt. That is so cool. I learned that trick from Simply Neological. The um, flash on your cell phone will really bring out holographic rainbows a lot better than like the ambient lighting. Anyway, I love this skirt. I, it's it's kind of like different levels of length and stuff like that. I don't know, I love the design of it. Moving down to her shoes. I have mixed emotions about the shoes. So she has these really cute, like um, kind of iridescent socks with these shoes that are kind of like these wedges with these cutouts and everything. And then on the front is like a little loop and it's got like a little bow tied with little power cables and they are power cords with little plugs on them. It's got some painted details here to add some turquoise to it. So. I have to say, I have very mixed emotions about these shoes. These shoes are so freaking cool. I love the little plugs that they added for the bows and stuff like that. I love the iridescence of the socks. I love the shape of the shoe itself with this wedge and like the little cutouts look so cool. They look very like organic and alien and I love that. As a whole, I think these shoes are ugly. Like, I love them, but they're ugly. Like, I I don't know <laughs> how to explain it. Like, I think the shoes themselves I like, but I hate the way they look with the socks, and I hate the way this little plug thing looks. It's just, it's too much. It looks ugly. It's the socks with sandals thing. It's like, I don't know, it just re reminds me of so much. So I don't think I'm going to be displaying them like that, like the way that they are. That being said, the design is so cool, like, which is so weird to say. I'm sitting here saying it's ugly, but then I also say it's really cool. Something can be really cool, but I also don't think it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> like, that's what's happening with these shoes. Basically, like, I think that they're ugly in general, like for the outfit and for the look, but I, I appreciate the design. And I really like the thought that was put into it. And I think it's so cool. Um, that being said, what I'll probably end up doing is taking the plugs off and taking the socks off and just having her wear the shoes because the shoes themselves are cute. And I do like the heels. I actually think those are really cool. So that's pretty much it for the doll herself. Now, um, I did mention that um, I was going to display her a little bit differently. Now, I'm going to figure out the sock situation later, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. But I saw on Instagram, and if I can find the post, I will put the picture up here so you can see, because I wanna give credit where it's due. Um, but I saw this post where somebody customized their uh, Zoe doll to look a certain way, and I literally, in the comments, I was like, I love this, I'm stealing it. <laughs> like, consider this look stolen. Um, and basically what they did is they, they took down the two outer space buns and then just, uh, outer space buns? <laughs> anyway, no pun intended. Um, and they just left the top knot, but like took these down and then boil washed the sides and stuff. I thought it looked really cute. And I actually like that and might do it myself. The other thing they did is they took the, the puffy jacket off and this, OMG doll. I forgot her name, but she was like one of the one of the earliest like winter OMG dolls. Uh, and I saw her and I really liked her. So I got her um, this sweatshirt she's wearing this light pink color. They put this on Zoe and I thought it looked gorgeous, especially with the skirt. So I'm going to do it now. I've never put OMG doll clothes on a rainbow high doll because they are different scales. I never thought to try it. I just automatically assumed it wasn't going to fit. Uh, and the only reason I thought to do this was literally because of that Instagram post. So I definitely took her hands off because I don't think that her hands are going to fit through these. Um, but let's see how well this fits. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is kind of a stretchy fabric. So I think it's going to fit fine. 
Well, of course it is. I saw it in the picture. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it fits barely. Like, it is stretched as far as it can go, and the, the Velcro doesn't want to go all the way. Uh, the, the front here is stretchy, so the Velcro kind of came back at, a little easier, but around the neck, it's not as stretchy because it's doubled over like this, so um, I was it, it's a little harder to close at the top, but I don't care because it's enough. <laughs> She looks so cute like this. What I love about this is this still kind of gives her that kind of futuristic kind of look or vibe to her with the um, the turtleneck and the little cutout on her chest. I really, really like that and the length of the sleeves even. But on top of that, it matches like the pink of her lips and everything. Like it goes so so well with her. I love this. Okay, I looked it up and I was able to find the picture. Thank goodness I saved it. <laughs> but it was Pixel Dolls on Instagram that uh, restyled her like this. And I and I, I said, I'm, you know, consider, consider this look stolen. And they're like, please do. So like Pixel Dolls, thank you so much for the inspiration for this. Because uh, when I saw that, I was like, wait, I actually have that top, I this top. Like I was so excited because it, this looks so good. And um, I realized they, they did the top. They did didn't do the top knot uh they did a uh like just a ponytail on top but i'm so i'm copying this also there's another picture which i'm just gonna put here so you can see it easier but there was a second picture in that post that had like her wearing jeans and if i can get some my hands on some like rainbow hide jeans i really like that look on her as well I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to stick with the the initial look like this outfit for now. I mean, like I said, if I find some some good uh, rainbow hygienes, then maybe I'll I'll try it out. But I just love the way this looks with the uh, with the skirt. But I do need to figure something out for the shoes because I just really don't like this look. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this doll and the way that I restyled her down in the comment section down below. Also, if you're not following Pixel Dolls on Instagram already, go check them out. They have a really amazing Instagram and they have like some beautiful photography of doll photography. Um, they primarily have like rainbow high and shadow high dolls uh, is the the focus there. But I have seen others like Bratz and Monster High occasionally like they just they do so good. It's like, it's so beautiful. So yeah, go check them out. But for right now, I gotta get going. I'm gonna be going up to see my grandma because I'm taking her out to lunch and we're probably gonna go shopping or something. I don't know. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.